Time for the talking to stop and the fighting to start. This should be good. I'm Todd Grisham, and next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. Looking forward to this one, Todd. It's time for our tale of the tape. Sugar Ray Robinson, even though he's 180. Sugar Ray Robinson. Many consider him to be the greatest fighter in the history of this sport. Inducted into the International Hall of Fame in 1990, he fights out of Harlem, New York. Julio Cesar Chavez making his way to the ring, a man that had 90 professional fights before recording his first loss. Not many fighters in the history of this sport can say that. It'll be ding ding from Beth Bob, they're off. And now it's time for the official introductions, and for that, we go to the Hall of Famer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 15 rounds of boxing. In the red corner, from New York, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 174 wins in his 201 fights. A welterweight champion of the world, a five-time middleweight champion of the world, Sugar Ray Robinson. Hiding out of the blue corner, from Culiacan, Sinaloa, Mexico, here is one of boxing's all-time greats with 107 career victories. Introducing El Gran Campeón Mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. Expectations are sky high for this fight. Will it live up to the hype? We're about to find out. All what's left is for the first bell to go. That's all we need now, because the build-up is getting ridiculous. So a capacity crowd here for this one. We've been waiting a long time for this matchup. And here we go. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Had a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. Defense is not an option for these two. So much pre-hype surrounding this fight, the fans are on the edge of their seats. Situations like this, Todd, will either make or break a fighter because the expectation from the fans of the people here, of the millions of people around the world, people like you and I sat here expecting everything and anything can break a man or make a man. Pretty close fight here in this round. Big shot for both of these fighters. You have to be careful, though. Very close match. He shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare be anything out of turn. Shallow punching. I slipped him. Kyle's Mio! It's Julio Cesar Chavez gonna go down! And before they get knocked down, they choose to go down on their own and take a knee. That must have really dented the ego. You don't want your opponent to see you do that. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Robinson in that last round. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And there's the bell to start the round. That last round was huge for him, Johnny. How does he keep the momentum going? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. This fighter's completely content to sit back and let you make the first move. That's where they thrive. To beat a counter puncher, you've got to take them out of their pace. Do not wait for them, because if you wait, they'll pepper and pop them all night long. Rush them. Good counter punch. Just 
just missed with that hook. No rest for the weary. He scores with the counter. They won't give us a second to catch our breath. Johnny, you would know this better than me, but I would hate fighting someone with this swarmer style. They don't let you breathe. They don't let you get off the ropes. You can't get your offense off. You just gotta deal with them. A swarmer, a good swarmer, will get inside you like a bee. Like a bee just pickpocketing and stinging you whenever you leave yourself open. A swarmer is the worst kind of fight to fight. <laughs> Fighters are made for one another. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Let's talk about Robinson in that last round. And a round that seemed like an eternity for them finally comes to a close. They ring the bell, and here we go. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Beautiful counter shot. I'd like to see someone use a jab here to establish a boxing press. Robinson goes to the canvas. Cue up the replay machine. I have got to see that again. Shot from the gods, they say. A shot from the gods. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you continue. At some point, the corner may have to intervene here because this fighter won't stay down. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into fight again, to show your fitness and determination. Maximum respect. You've got the advantage halfway through the round. No doubt at all. You can see who's winning. You can see who's got in hand. You can see who's comfortable. Or oh, it's a bit of a mouse trap. And showing exceptional chins, by the way. Unlike the heavier fighters, these fighters throw so many punches, it's hard to keep up. Just misses with that uppercut. One-way traffic with just 10 seconds to go in the round. Let's talk about Robinson in that last round. Boy, this next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He got knocked down in the last round. Let's see what he can do here. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out and catch as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a he's got a bluff. Him. Swing and a miss with that jab. Well, you know, in this division, you gotta have speed and you gotta have footwork, or you're gonna be a cooked goose. Oh, Todd, you know what? Sometimes when I've got in the ring with fights like that and you punch them, you just wanna win. You want that spaceship to come and lift you out of there because you think, what the hell am I gonna do now? Look, misses. a little bit closer than I think a lot of people thought. The jab doesn't quite connect. 
skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Swing and a miss with that jab. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? Can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they help to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. You've got to relax. Next round still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. Cesar Chavez just got... Let's talk about Robinson in that last round. They've got the momentum. They've got the advantage. How do they carry that into the next round? I seriously hope... They ring the bell, and here we go. Well, Johnny, can he keep the momentum going after that last huge round? For him? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Do you believe what we're seeing? Couldn't land that jab. How much confidence do you build when your opponents hit you with their best shot and you walk right through it? I've seen some fights with a granite chin. You can hit them with a sledgehammer, they are not going to move. But then I've seen some mad punchers with a chin like a crisp. As soon as you touch them, they're gone. And this is the danger spot. Back and forth they go. Neither fighter willing to back down. Perfect. Oh, and the grand champion might go down. We were going to see the finish there. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for now, just defense. Where could he go? Julio Cesar Chavez in some serious trouble. <laughs> Looks like they're out of trouble. It's been a tough round, so. Well, I caramba. Julio Cesar Chavez in trouble. <laughs> Very close round with 10 seconds to go. And caught him with a left hook. Wow, that seemed to be the punch he was looking for. Let's watch it again. Even I've got to see that again. Where did that come from? Many people would have predicted it, but we've got a knockout victory. What a build-up. What a journey towards this fight. What a fight itself. The crowd enjoyed it. The fighters enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed it. And what a way to end the fight. There's no mistake there about who won. What a shot.